Boy Museum is on a mission to preserve a tiny village that's a snapshot of a way of life we've left behind. It's known as the Highland Cotton Mill Village, with mill houses first owned by Highland Cotton Mill, then sold to employees in the 1960s. Now, as Fox 8's Natasha Lagur shows us, the museum is working to make sure this bit of history isn't forgotten. This is something that should be preserved. It might look like an ordinary neighborhood, but this community surrounding Mill Avenue in High Point's historic district holds a rich history spun from the threads of a once booming textile industry and the men and women who made the machines. All of us uh, have an important story to tell. Everyone in High Point, you know, we are the High Point Museum, so we are here to collect the stories of everyone who lives or works in High Point in the past, but also in the present. This is the Highland Cotton Mill Village, which surrounded the Highland Cotton Mill. It was established in 1913, and when workers finished their jobs for the day, they went to their mill houses to be with their families. Are usually when we think about houses that are almost 100 years, they are 100 years old, uh, for some of them, that they're mansions, you know, but here's just mill houses that are that are still there. J.R. Snyder visited his grandfather here when he was a child. My grandparents moved to the village in the late 20s uh, from Greenville, South Carolina, and he worked in the mill um, up until his retirement. Snyder fondly remembers the ordinary things he shared with his grandparents, like walking to the mill, visiting a store, and riding along on a mule. It's good memories. It's all good memories. But those ordinary tasks from ordinary people can get lost in history as time goes by and generations pass by. That's why the High Point Museum is working on collecting memories and pieces of history from anyone from this village. As of now, staff has collected photos from the era and hopes to one day have them on display for the world to remember. You know, it's nice to kind of find those little neighborhoods and, and areas where we can kind of um, do a little more than the surface level, but like dig down really deep and really create some strong connection because um, it's, I think it's really important to teach the next generation. In High Point, Natasha Lagur, Fox 8 News. Yeah, it's so important that to make sure to make sure these stories aren't lost. And museum officials hope to create a walking tour in the Highland Cotton Mill Village. They say the tour could be available starting this fall. Also, 